Recently, an AI image generation tool was crowned the best one, which really surprised me. There are so many image generation tools out there now that it's hard to know which one suits your needs. I recently recorded a tutorial with my friend who's a designer in the fashion industry and I showed her how Recraft.ai can help her and her colleagues in their creative work. I recorded this tutorial so that you can follow along. So now it's your turn to find out what it can do. Let's dive in. So I don't know if you've heard of Recraft. It nope. suddenly came up with a new image model. So you've got Recraft.ai. In it, you have your projects. You can share projects with others or people can share them with you. So you can work in teams. You can actually work uh, as a group. You've also got your community. So it's like in Midjourney, you can see what other people have created mm -hmm. yeah, and what their prompts are. You can like them and keep them to for references. I always suggest looking at other people's work and see how they're getting to their imagery. Here, the prompting is very different, I feel. It's yeah, it looks quite short. It's short, but then you've got these long ones. And I have to say the style is quite different than Midjourney. If we create a new project, you you start with this empty canvas and you've got different options on the left here, different. So you've got your create an image, create a frame, image set or a mock-up, and I'll go through them. You can go back to your home page. You can also here get little explanations, little videos about what each one does. So a bit of a tutorial. You can upload images. So you can import an image. You can create notes and also text. And that way you can work with and share this, your project with others. So let's create an image. I clicked on image. And what happens is you get this square or oh, you, wow. you can work okay. to different aspect ratios. It looks like an edit tool. Yeah, it has it has that element to it, right? And if I click control with my mouse button, I can zoom in and out. Mm -hmm. If I click space, like in Photoshop, I can move. So you can have many images in the canvas together. When I click on the on the image, I get this the prompt on the left. Now, first you can choose your style, but also which model you want to use. So this is mm -hmm. their flagship model right now, Recraft V3 Raw. You can go photorealistic, vector art, and a whole host of styles that nice. they give you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's why you saw the different styles. They've got two uh, main models that they work with, the new ones, the V3. I would suggest using that. And here you prompt like a girl walking on a sidewalk. Yeah, mm -hmm. And you prompt it, change the aspect ratio if you want. You can also choose your color palette. Nice. This is very yeah. important. Yeah. So here are my palettes. If I choose my palettes, it'll pick it. So that's the color palette it's going to work with. Oh, I cannot like eliminate one. If you... you can. Here you've got the X. Yeah, you can get rid of that. Okay. And if I want to add red? Still you add that. You click here and on okay. this and awesome. add a, a red. Wow. You also have other settings. You can include, exclude stuff from a image. So you can say trees. Although you'd want that. Click Recraft. Mm -hmm. For free version, you get only two images in a in a go. And it put trees but in But you said it. you don't <laughs> want to see trees. You see, yeah. <laughs> so, But basically, when I click on the object, both of them have trees for some reason. Yeah, be very specific in your description. So you can say, I want her uh, nice. walking. I really love the, yeah, the color palette feature because uh, it's a game changer, in my opinion. Yeah, because when so, you do a content, it has to be in context for of what I'm doing right now, and it's always about color palette, so yeah. it helps a lot. So explain what you do, and basically just in a, a sentence or two, so we have context for whoever's watching this. What you do? Uh, I'm a fashion designer and specialized in uh, product development, from an idea, inspiration to prototyping, sampling, and sales strategy of the actual. Um, garment or collection and uh, I collaborate with uh, emerging designers with bridal established brands and also with uh, technology based fashion companies to help them navigate uh, in the fashion market so yeah so you've got your two options here right and you can keep okay. prompting it keep recrafting it you can adjust the colors of the image itself now it's basically an image processor in here it's not that good I wouldn't use it but what you can do is you can fine-tune it so you can say, okay, look, I want the same thing, but make it different. That's why you can upload an image. So I could upload an image from my hard disk and use it as a reference and say, okay, I want an image similar to this. This doesn't have a prompt attached to it. So I can say an Asian woman sitting at her desk 
working make it, well, let's say very similar, but the difference is it's an Asian woman. Modify my image. So this is an image I created in Midjourney. It'll take it as a reference. Now, what did it do? It, it, it took the reference red top. It's got this kind of blurred background with a robot in it. And she's got a pen in hand. So I can actually extract a prompt here on the left. You've got extract prompt from an image. In the background, what it's doing is it's extracting that prompt. It's right. describing to itself what it is. Awesome. But also using, making sure it adheres to your own prompt. Right. You know so, what I like about the interface? That the, I mean, it's at the same uh, worksheet. Like yes. I have the, the previous one and the new one. And yes. it feels like more intuitive more when you design. Yeah. You don't need to open a new chat, a new prompt, like Correct. it's in an ongoing process. And if you want, if you like this, you want to keep it, but you want to keep working on it, you can copy and paste and you have the same thing twice with the prompts. So now you can say, wow. okay, I'm going to keep this, but now adjust on this now. So that's one way of working. That's really good. It kind of got the prompt. Okay. It's got <laughs> pens in both hands, which is a bit weird, but in this case, she's quite good. You know, it kept a robot. It's kind of similar in style and you can create variations of different aspect ratios. So if I want to make this now for mobile phone yeah. vertical, mm -hmm. It'll turn it nine by 16 image of the same kind of image. See, so if you say, oh, I want this image, but obviously it's re recalculated. Everything. Yeah, it's kind of different than the yeah. old one. Like I would, it would, it's not an out paint tool. It's just using it to generate, but I can undo, which is another good thing. Because if I just want to ignore what I just did, undo, go back to where you were. Do you have text boxes? I see the T. Yeah, in so the upper I'll, part. I'll get to that. Actually, no. Let's start a new project. Create a what's called a frame. So on the frame tool, I can create an image. Create an image here. Let's let's do it this time. Vector. Can we make a prompt in from my world, like a, an sure. utility denim jacket? So I would color. I would just start. I'd go here and let's say this palette. Yeah, let's do this. You want photorealistic? You want? Yeah. Because I'm paying, I could do four variations, but let's stick to two for now. Mm -hmm. So. I can drag it into this or to the right and say, and add a text. Okay. So we're going to type, you can have your fonts to uh, give you a variety of fonts. Let's use this one, bold and write cool jacket, drag it in. Let's do that. And also we can stick to the kind of palette if you want. And what it's going to do is combine the elements. So it's actually going to pick up on the text and the image and create some kind of design, something that nice. will be more kind of branded, let's say. You can add your elements, your design elements, even upload imagery that you want, and you can mm -hmm. add them into the frame and it can create an overall design for you. And in the prompt, you can direct it to what you need. So another tool is also creating image sets. So if you're going to make this set of images. So in a way you can storyboard in a way and mm -hmm. keep to the same palette and have similar similarities to the prompts and then just generate, you'll get six images. Wow. So you can work faster. You can work more to a certain kind of theme. Wow. This one I got to try. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay. So this is not the sets, but this is the variations. So I started with an image and started saying, okay, I, I like this, but actually what if I want that in a more realistic look, use the colors, use the, this fine tune to more realism. So use a different model. That's yeah. the beauty is I can change here. I was using the vector art model, and then I can ask it to do a variation in a different model, in a photoreal model. So the same thing goes, if I go back to our project, you can actually tell it. I want six variations in different, using different uh, styles, different models, mm -hmm. different, but it's the same prompt. You can see variations on color palettes, six different color palettes that you want to try or different, six different styles. Wow. So it just speeds you up and sees and makes you decide as a designer um, or different denim jackets, but you might say, I want a worn look. I yeah. want. Um, no, I feel like this, um, unique tool makes you feel like more of a designer and less as a writer because here you can really use your creativity and and like implement it over the work yeah uh, it's a more working process 
Another tool that I think you'll like. I took a shitty drawing that I <laughs> drew in Photoshop quickly. Um, and I can turn that into a photorealistic model. Nice. But what I, what I can do also is if I create here a mock-up or you know what, I'll, I'll first create an image. Okay. That's not the best, but let's keep it. I can then turn that into convert to mock-up. So you've got other tools here. You can, you have a lasso, so selection tool, modify an area, you can erase parts of it. So if you want to remove unwanted parts, oh yeah. wow you can uh, remove the background and you can change the background so if you want a different background but i can also turn it into a mock-up you can create your own mock-up like uh, starting from scratch and prompt a mock-up mm -hmm. but you can also create it what does it mean a mock-up let's say i quickly create a logo this time let's go vector art okay so let's say i want this nice butterfly logo i move it in and it's now superimposed Except I don't understand why it's... Ah, because it's a white background. Mm -hmm. Ah, if, if it, it was a PNG. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if Or if I remove the background. Yeah, so you can now start creating... If you want to print on a shirt, print, you know, you want to kind of design and say, okay, I want to mm -hmm. try. So in this case, what I did was I made this image of a butterfly, cropped it circular, and... I can literally just kind of move it around the fabric. It's picking up on some kind of depth map of wow. the image. Yeah, it's a good yeah. one. So if you want to test textile patterns, print designs and see how, what yeah. size you'd like. But you see how I could start with an image like this. Yeah. Fine tune it. Turn this it is in. a very good tool for fashion designer. Yeah. So I can say somewhat similar. Go mm -hmm. to my realistic photorealism and say a woman and notice that I'm not even going to play with color palettes because the color palette's now inbuilt in my sketch, but I could change it. The fact that I put color in there, if I then go and change. Ah, the sketch you've created here as well. No, the sketch I, I drew in Photoshop mm. very quickly. You know, I, I just thought I'd sketch just to kind of show. I really love the fact that it looks like clean. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's different than uh, Mid Journey. Oh, I don't much know exactly yeah. in which sense. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe it's, the the lines are more minimalistic, maybe are more realistic, less AI feel. Honestly, the realism of this wasn't that good about six months ago. I, I stopped working it with it a year ago, but then mm -hmm. because they upgraded the model, I tested it. Nice. You can see it's. Oh, it's not very good on the face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's having same issues that AI models often have. Um, and you can have, you'll have to work on that. You'll have to. And, th and this is the thing about all the AI models. They all give you some good results and also very poor results. Yeah. Uh, and they also all make these kinds of mistakes still. Another th good part that I think is useful for you, if I take that butterfly image, you say, okay, I, I like that design. I'm happy with it. I want to use it for my print. Oh, it's already a vector because we created a vector art. Yeah. But if this was a, a an image, a, a, a rasterized image, you could convert it to a vector. So instead of this button, there'd be a vectorized tool. So it would turn it into vector and you can export an SVG that you can take it to Illustrator. So you can, you see how AI generated this image and then I can just send this to Illustrator and then yeah. it'll be vector. Yeah, for imagery. embroidery or laser or whatever. Yeah, and, and you can start kind of adjusting it if you want to play with things, you want to recolor things in, in Illustrator, for example. Nice. Very you can cool. do that very, very quickly. Uh, and you can then bring them back here and, and work with them again. Yeah, so you can export PNGs, JPEG, SVG. I don't mm -hmm. no, I don't use Lottie. So for um, design. Can we make the model wear the jacket? I wonder if I take um, I I take it and fine tune it and say a woman wearing a what would it do? It but the thing is it's gonna keep to the same yeah, I, I think this is asking too much of it. Yeah, it's, it's, um, well, you know, at least <laughs> give your path a woman, right? 
Um, but it is not quite the same jacket. Yeah, but it's similar. Yeah. It's not uh, different. Or can we maybe add a variate on it and say, let's do a tall version of this, where maybe hopefully it'll add her legs, <laughs> her, the rest of her body, but it'll change the jacket, obviously. There we go. So those huge pockets, <laughs> huge jacket. Um, but it looks nice. It's not completely different. The color, uh, pocket design, hmm. edges, it looks similar. So, you know, you can bring in drawings, change them, fine tune them, vary, you know, and, and just basically create even color palettes, create color variations of things, all yeah. using here. And, you know, you can create notes. If you're working with someone, you could say, okay, uh, I like the shirt, change trousers, right? So you're giving instructions if you're working in a team. That's in a nutshell. <laughs> nice. No, it's yeah. interesting. I, I see quite um, like there's a huge potential for fashion designers using this platform uh, for many reasons. First, um, it's I don't know how to explain it again, but it looks more intelligent than mid-journey outputs. And second, the ability to edit, to adjust, to be more creative and also implement your creativity uh, in the same file, in the same sheet, worksheet, it's, I think it's a game changer. Yeah, uh, I, and, and it has some tools that will imp keep improving, like all of them keep improving. Yeah. I can invite you if you want, yeah. using this button. Please do. I don't know if we share the credits. I don't know how it works. Uh, yeah. But in terms of the plans... I'm on the basic plan, upgrade. Okay, so you've got your free plan. You get 50 mm -hmm. free credits. I don't know how many images that gives you really. I'm just paying 10 bucks a month. And then obviously once you get pro, you it starts becoming quite expensive, but you're getting, if you're using it a lot to the level that you're using, let's say Illustrator or Photoshop, then you have to decide what works for you. But you also have Teams mm -hmm. Enterprise, but you don't need that. But a, a business that wants to work in this way, mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, can do that. So they've really improved. The interface has improved. The only thing I would ask them to change was is the color palette. Um, I find that it's a bit frustrating. I don't know. Sometimes. I kind of like it. <laughs> you know, because uh, like, in my work, it, it, the pictures, the images, the inspiration has to be like very connected to a color palette. So f for me, it can be very useful. And, you know, you can add complexity in details, so make it very mm -hmm. primitive or very extreme. So I needed a download icon. Nice. Like, again, I'll take that into Illustrator and change it. I don't need these two yellow elements. You see, now, if I want to recolor it, it's not clear where do I go. It's not clear how to choose. And what if I want eight colors? How do I push that to eight colors? Right now, it's only telling me seven colors. It's not intuitive, the color aspect. So let's see if... Uh, you start with I will, it. And... I will try to use it and let you know how it goes in my work. Okay, so let me invite, yeah. copy link, and I'll send it to you by email. Great. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for joining me. Thanks. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. So that was a taste of Recraft. It was actually one of the first image generation tools that I started using, but I put it aside because it wasn't providing me the value that Midjourney or Stable Diffusion were at the time. But they recently improved on their model and their tools and their interface that it's become a very viable option. The UI for the color palette is a little confusing and not so intuitive, and I'm sure they'll work on it and improve it. But I do enjoy working in the Recraft environment. So be sure to like this video and do subscribe to my channel. It goes a long way to helping me grow as I bring more AI tips and tricks. And if you want to see more videos like this one, about my other favorite image generation platforms, Midjourney and Crea, click on these two links here. And let me know in the comments section which ones you like the best.